Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. In today's video we're going to be going ahead and creating a tutorial for an advanced plane here in Stormworks on the Creative Island. Now pretty much we're going to be going ahead and telling you all the different components that you're going to need. Um, going ahead and popping up the advanced engine along with connecting all the controls for the actual plane itself. Uh, hopefully by the end of the tutorial you should have a basic understanding of how to go ahead and actually build your own plane in advanced mode. Um, as I said we'll provide all the knowledge that's needed for this um, video and then you should be able to go ahead and create your own plane depending on the size that you want to build. With that all said we'll go ahead and get started. So we're back here in the workbench in the hangar of the Creative Island. Now as you can see on my screen here I have the X plane enabled and that pretty much just means everything I place on one side of the plane is going to be duplicated on the other side. It's going to just build, be, uh, speed up the process of building a little bit and help us out at the end. You can obviously disable it if you want. Now the first thing we want is obviously to control the plane with something. Now we're going to be going ahead and actually using our pilot seat and we'll get that placed on. That's going to be able to control the engine itself along with all the different uh, fin riders of the plane itself. Now next off what we want to do is obviously place down our engine. Now we need something to place our engine down on with. So I'm just going to be creating a little bit of a frame for the engine. And we'll, as you could probably call it, the fuel solage of the plane. So, these couple of those blocks. Um, so once we have that placed down, we can now actually go ahead and place our engine down. Now, the engine I'm going to be using for this tutorial, and I've used for a lot of the other tutorials, is going to be the aircraft engine. I found the power output for it compared to its mass is the best at the moment until they go ahead and actually add in our different engines, like the turbine engine here in advanced mode. Uh, you can obviously access the turbine engine with the normal mode. Um, however, in advanced mode, you only have access to the aircraft engine the large engine and obviously the small engine. So with that said, we've added that on. Uh, the next thing we need to do is obviously start adding all the piping up for the engine itself. Now, as always, we need different components. The first off is obviously going to be a radiator for the engine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and build a radiator just underneath our plane itself. Let's go and find the radiator. It's gonna place it down there. Quite that simple. As I said earlier in this tutorial, it's not gonna be anything pretty. It's just gonna be a very basic way of getting everything working. Once we've done that, uh, the next component we're going to need is going to be obviously a fuel tank to fly our plane with. Um, so I'm going to use a medium fuel tank. Just going to place it just over here. Just make sure, yep, the hole's underneath there. Great. And then the last thing we want is obviously is going to be a battery because we are in advanced mode. We need a battery to power everything. So go ahead and just place a battery there. We can go ahead and start deleting that. Now, once we have all the components down for the engine itself, we can just delete any extra blocks we don't want. Uh, the next thing all we need to do is obviously just build our fuel solage a little bit before we start doing the piping. Now, to do that, I'm just going to do a simple frame and bring it up from the ground, the same as how we would probably do for a helicopter. So just like that just so that it actually clears the pilot seat. And you can imagine that this windscreen will be coming up the front here, going along here. And then we're gonna bring it out to go to our actual tail, which will just be to about there. Uh, once we've done that, we can go ahead and actually just add the tail itself. So we're gonna add the main fin here. And then we're gonna go ahead and also add the two on the sides. Fantastic. And then we also obviously need to add our wings to the plane. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to be adding the wings to the top side of the plane. You can obviously do it underneath, you can do it in the middle, wherever you want. But as I said, for this tutorial, I'm just going to be adding the simple wings just going along here. Pretty simple, pretty basic. Now the next thing we want is obviously we have to add some type of landing gear for the plane itself. Um, so for the rear here, I'm just gonna go ahead and just build this down like this. And I'm going to be adding just our plain old wheel coaster at the rear. And then towards the front, I'm just gonna go ahead and on the wings themselves, just go ahead and bring a couple blocks down. Just make sure we clear the actual Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, as I said, it's not going to look pretty at all. Uh, I'm just going to be to get the fundamentals done. So we'll go ahead quickly and just spawn this and see how it looks. Fantastic. So you can see the plane there. Um, it's starting to look a little bit like a plane. As I said, nothing fancy, guys. Um, just a basic, basic design here. 
If we've got all that done, now we can start actually going ahead and doing all the piping for the engine. So the first thing we want to do is obviously give air to the engine itself. So go ahead and select our airport here. Once we have that placed down, the next thing we want to do is obviously put our propeller on the plane. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to be using a aircraft propeller. And in the front here, we don't need a clutch and we don't need a gearbox for this tutorial. Um, obviously, you can go ahead and add that if you want. Um, I'm not going to get into that to this tutorial. Next off, we're going to connect our fluid, uh, sorry, our coolant for our engine. Um, just obviously in out there, just going to go through the radio and then come out. It should provide sufficient cooling for us for this tutorial. Next thing is you obviously have two exhausts on the aircraft engine itself. I'm just going to be bringing them straight out of the engine itself. And then lastly, you obviously have is going to be the fuel. So we're going to go ahead and connect that to our rear fuel tank. I'm just going to be bringing it down underneath the plane itself. And then bring it along just to here. And then lastly, we're just going to go ahead and actually connect that up. So that's all our piping done for the engine itself. The next thing we need to obviously go ahead and do is our logic. Um, and obviously add our fin rudders. So I'm going to start adding our fin rudders to the plane itself. Um, don't worry, I'm just deleting a whole lot of blocks at the moment, and I'll go ahead and explain exactly why I'm deleting those blocks. So first off, the plane itself, um, we have different controls. Our up and down is going to control the throttle of the engine. Our left and right is going to control, obviously, if the plane steers left or steers right. Our WS is going to control our pitch, so whether we dive forward or we rise, or we angle up and then our AOD is going to be to roll the plane. Now first off you obviously need to pitch the plane itself. Now we're going to be using fin rudders for this tutorial. So these controls here at the rear, if we give it an up or down that's going to obviously let the plane go down or up as in pitching fashion. We're then going to go ahead and add two here. Now the purpose of this is going to be that when one goes up, one goes down, it's then going to roll the plane either to the left or to the right. And we can, or what we'll do is we'll add a um, numerical input um, inverse block. So we inverse one of these. And then lastly, we obviously want the plane to go left and right. And this is going to be by using a simple left and right of the rudder here to, towards the rear. Now obviously you can get a little more complex with this. You can obviously go ahead and set up different logic and so on and so forth, use larger rudders. It's really up to you. As I said earlier, this is the basic tutorial just to actually get it up and running and working. Now with that said, uh, we can start connecting our logic up. So first off, what we want to do is obviously turn the engine on. So I'm going to be using the hotkey from the engine, hotkey one, and connect it up. Just be aware that by default, this is on a toggle mode. So if you go here, toggle and with advanced engine you obviously don't want a toggle button to start that because when you press it it's going to constantly be turning the engine over until you turn it off so push button will be more than enough just to get the ignition going the next thing we want to do is obviously do a throttle as I said earlier we're going to be using our up and down to control the throttle the next thing we need to do is obviously go ahead and control our fin rudders now the first one we're going to do is ws which is going to be the pitch of the plane itself i'm just going to be connecting it to our two rear pitches at the back Next, you have A and D. This is what we said was going to be the roll. So when one goes up, we want the other one to go down. So you can do this in two ways. Obviously, you could either go and place this in the opposite way, or you can go ahead and actually just use the numerical inverter. I'm going to be using that for this tutorial. I'm just going to go and place it down pretty much anywhere you can find a space. So we're going to go, once we have the, these connected, we can go ahead and actually just connect this to our numerical inverter and then take that value and connect it straight to the other fins. So once we have that done, the last thing to connect is obviously our left and right, and we just go here to the pilot seat, left and right, connect it all up. Now what we're going to be doing now is going ahead and spawning this in, and just make sure everything is actually working the way we want. I jump into the pilot seat, and now we'll just start testing our controls. So the first one is going to be our pitch, so when I press W, one thing I have forgotten to do is connect all the electricity. Always forget to do that. Uh, and as I said in a lot of materials, that's one of the most thing, important things you need to always go and double check. As soon as you add any more components or anything, you need to obviously double check you have all electricity connected here in advanced mode. I'll spawn that back in now quickly. Jump up to our plane. And now check. So hold down W. You can see the plane angles down. Hold down the S. Goes up. Fantastic. Roll left. Perfect. Left ones go up, right ones go down. 
roll right, opposite way, perfect. And then last thing we need to check is our left and right. Press. So we just need to go ahead and invert that because I'm currently pressing right and it's now turning us left and so on and so forth. So we're just going to go ahead and invert the rear ones and just by placing down a, once again, number numerical inputs. Take that. And just go ahead and connect that all up. Perfect. And now we can actually go ahead and spawn our plane in and see if we can actually start getting it to work. So we're going to go ahead and just give a little bit of throttle. Not much. Go ahead and get ignition to the engine itself until we actually get this to turn over. There we go. Now we can use our left and right to just angle the plane well, as soon as we actually. take off here and there we go we've now taken off and that's pretty much the plane itself uh, as you can see you can go ahead and obviously change the sensitivity of the engine itself uh, one thing i haven't done is actually made the throttle of the engine sticky so it's obviously instantly cutting out now so i'm just going to go ahead and hold down our forward key and you can see here, if I want to roll to the left, press the left, roll to the right, roll to the right. You can, as I said, you can change the sensitivity of this to how you want. Up and down is working, uh, and then left and right. So we can actually go ahead and try and do this, and just start flying towards the island itself. And let's see if we can actually go ahead and just try and land. Uh, I'm not the greatest of flyers. So if I make a complete fool of myself, <laughs> don't laugh at me, please. Uh, I'm trying my best. So we'll try and just go ahead and land just over here. I'm just going to start lowering the throttle. As I said, because we haven't actually gone ahead and toggled that, um, it obviously automatically kills the throttle when we let go of the up key. So we should start landing now. As I said, you can go ahead and change the sensitivity of all these controls. And... There we go. Not the greatest of landings, um, but that's pretty much the basics of it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the tutorial there. I hope you enjoyed it and found it somewhat informative and useful as always. Um, don't forget to hit the comment button below and let me know what you'd like to go ahead and see in the next video. Um, as I said in the previous video, we are probably going to be starting a weekly um, episode that's going to be covering the top five creations of the week that have been submitted to the workshop. We will go ahead and go into an in-depth look into each one of them and kind of do a diagnosis and try and figure out how people are actually building these creations. Um, so I hope you guys are going to enjoy that and let me know below if that's something you want to see. Uh, as always, go ahead and check my Patreon page out if you're enjoying the videos and you want to contribute something towards the channel. Uh, it always helps out and obviously it brings me one step closer to actually doing this uh, more regularly than what I'm doing at the moment. And then and as always, hit that like button and subscribe for any future content and we'll see you in the next one.